Today, residents who lost nearly everything in a massive apartment building fire along Babcock Boulevard in McCandless were cleaning up and helping one another today. This as fire investigators work to determine a cause. Pam Serrano is live at Durham Court Apartments with the very latest. Pam. Good evening to you, Susan. Residents could be seen coming out of this devastated apartment building all day, trying to salvage anything they could. Earlier, they were also sitting out on the front lawn, just looking at what little was left of their homes. The Allegheny County Fire Marshal was here all day and with a drone in the air, investigating the cause of Wednesday's massive blaze at Durham Court Apartments on Babcock Boulevard in McCandless. Some residents described the building, especially the third floor where the roof collapsed, as a war zone. People were just grateful that they were able to get out, you know, with their skin, so to speak. The ceiling fell straight down. For Jeannie Mayer, the building holds a lifetime of memories. She first moved in on the first floor with her mom 30 years ago. Over the years after she lost her mom, she moved to the third floor where the fire started. I said, well, if I get to the third floor, only God's above me, and he better behave himself. So up until yesterday, he was pretty good. 30 years of family things from other countries and my mother's diamonds. Residents carried out boxes, clothes, and were salvaging any personal mementos possible. The water and smoke damage throughout the building is significant. It's been hard, Then we've just been trying to salvage you know, everything we possibly can. So fortunately, we, um, a lot was like a lot of water damage, but there was some loss. Residents could be seen helping one another, a bond they say made stronger due to the hardship and one that's brought out the goodness in others. Went around and helped other people go into the apartments and get anything out that they needed to get. It makes you feel good about the world. You know, all the crappy stuff and the other people are talking about and not wanting to get along and that that's, it shouldn't be. The Red Cross is also assisting some 20 people displaced are now staying in a variety of places, hotels, and with family and friends. The fire marshal is investigating along with the town of McCandless, and they are saying at least preliminarily it does not appear to be suspicious. Live in McCandless, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.